Now we had a bit of a setback on the special edition red and black Corsair 650D cases. Uh, the shop called this morning to say they are not ready yet, but hopefully we'll be able to have access to them tomorrow. However, what we do have right now is our test platform running. So the overall spec of this machine is going to be fairly evident at this point. We have the Radeon HD 6990 from XFX. We are going to be using a Gigabyte P67A UD7, and this is a B3 revision board, so that means that the SATA 2 controller problem is fixed on this particular motherboard. We're going to be using a Corsair Performance 3 Series SSD, so we're using the 128 gig as a boot drive, and then we're going to be using a 2 terabyte WD Black hard drive for storage. We're going to be using the Corsair H70 for cooling, as well as Corsair Dominator GT memory to fit the overall color scheme, which is going to be black, red, and with a touch of gold, because we're also using a Corsair AX850 power supply. So you can see we do have just a little bit of gold on both that as well as the motherboard itself. So that's, that's what we're going for here. We're going to be using a Blu-ray writer. We've got the special MCIX edition Yate Loon red and black fans that we'll be decking the system out in. Uh, this is a 2600K processor down here. I think that's pretty much everything as far as specs go. Now we will be pre-overclocking these systems, so we're expecting to get at least 4.4 to 4.6 gigahertz on the CPUs uh, for these special edition systems. And we are going to be flipping the BIOS switch on the 6990 and validating that every one of these systems ships at 880 megahertz, which is the full unlocked uh, after you flip the awesome switch on the 6990 uh, version of this card. So you get the best possible performance out of it uh, from that regard. Okay, so we've got our 3D Mark 11 Advanced Edition score that is in the Extreme preset, and that is an X3361 now uh, score. Now we haven't actually overclocked the CPU yet, but we will be working on that shortly. And uh, because, I mean, the, the reality of it is we can't overclock with the stock cooler, so we're going to be doing that once we've actually installed the systems in the cases. And I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and uh, stay tuned for more updates on this exciting NCIX PC Vesta R1 system.